I feel like they're making too big of a story out of this because nothing actually happened. If safety is their first priority, they're following exactly what the air traffic controller said to do. There was a little bit of lapse in judgment there. So JetBlue and Southwest met on a close call at Washington Airport after the ATC mishap. JetBlue flight from Washington, D.C. was bound for Boston. Let's take a look at this, right? Sounds like we had a way too close of a call between JetBlue and Southwest. Uh, the FAA said it plans to investigate a close call involving JetBlue and Southwest um, in Washington on Thursday. Uh, JetBlue Airways told Fox Business that flight 1554, which was flying from Washington to Boston, had to abort its takeoff because another aircraft had attempted to cross the runway. Just before 8 a.m. local time, an air traffic controller instructed Southwest Airlines Flight 2937 to cross a runway at Ronald Reagan uh, Washington National Airport while the JetBlue flight was starting its takeoff on the same runway. What? Somebody failed big time on that. JetBlue said no injuries were reported. Of course, nothing actually happened. Safety is JetBlue's first priority, and we look closely at federal officials in this event is fully investigated. Southwest said that it's aware of the incident and working with the FAA to fully understand the circumstances. I wouldn't blame either JetBlue or Southwest. And be, please, in the in the in the the uh, in the comments down below, tell me your opinion. I don't blame either one of these. Right, the pilots themselves are doing their job. They're following the instructions set by uh, the people up in the tower. Right, they're saying, okay, you know, JetBlue, go. Southwest Airlines, wait a minute. But somebody got their wires crossed. Right. So I wouldn't blame either of the airlines themselves. In February 2023, uh, then acting administrator Billy Nolan crafted a safety review team to examine the reliability of the air traffic control system after a string of close calls early that year. Last year, he claimed that while air travel is coming back, the long layoff coupled with the increased technical nature of the systems might have caused some professionals to lose some of that muscle memory. Ooh, these are not the people I want to be up in the towers telling us where to go. With the safety of our controllers and national airspace always top of mind for FAA, I took this very seriously and we're taking action. So, all right, I don't know. I feel like this is somewhat of a uh, mountain out of a molehill because, yes, there was a little bit of uh, cross-awareness, but at the same time, nothing actually happened, right? The, the jets stopped. Nobody collided with anybody, right? There was a lapse in judgment somewhere, but nothing actually happened. Whitaker said it's requiring 10 hours off between shifts and 12 hours before a midnight shift, effective 90 days. So they're giving them more time off. That's good. But I don't know. I feel like they're making too big of a story out of this because nothing actually happened. But you tell me in the comments down below. Am I am I not reading this correctly? Um, I mean, I'm actually going I, planning flights. Uh, we're taking my children for the first time ever out of the country. Uh, so this is something that is on my radar right now, uh, looking at flights and things like that. So to see, to see a new story like this, of course, piqued my attention. But let me know in the comments: am I am I am I not seeing what's the important part of this here? Because uh, if safety is their first priority, right, they're following exactly what the air traffic controller said to do. But there was a uh, a little bit of lapse in judgment there. However, everybody did their job correctly, and nothing actually happened. So I wanted to talk about a company that's not doing their job correctly, and that's Boeing. I don't know if you heard, but like. Not only are the doors falling off the airplanes, not only are uh, the planes catching uh, fire mid-flight. I heard something like that happened uh, late in 2023. But uh, like the whistleblower, uh, he's not blowing any more whistles now because uh, he he accidentally wound up dead somehow, which kind of really makes me nervous. But following these AI trading signals, right? This is honestly one of my very favorite stocks to to show just how well outlier works because right at this point right here when the stock fell off a cliff was the news that broke where um the alaska air flight uh door fell off and we got a sell signal about a week before that point a week before right so between this signal here where it came on october 12th where the price was 191 it reached a high and got a sell signal of 270 that's about 70 bucks a share right what is that so 70 over 191, that's about a 37% gain just in this time frame right here. And then we got the sell signal right in time before it blew the doors off, literally. So this is one of the best ones that I've seen out there. And this is for Boeing. And Boeing, like I said, has not had the best record of safety lately. But Outlier has still managed to have a positive return, a 14.95% return 
instead of buy and hold being 48% negative, right? Look at that gain between the two, right? 48% buy and hold down versus 15% up following outlier. So I really recommend you get these AI trading signals right here. Head over to OVTLYR.com to see why outliers win. Now let's take a look and see what the internet has to say about this story. JetBlue and Southwest planes nearly collided on the runway today. The air traffic controller directed the, out, the Southwest plane to cross a runway where JetBlue plane was already clear for takeoff. All right, let's watch this little video here. So this is the Southwest plane in the blue. Let's make it bigger. And about to take off. So there's the JetBlue plane getting ready for takeoff. The Southwest plane was about to cross that runway to do what it's going to do, wherever it's going. Okay, so uh, the audio of that was pretty interesting. It was actual audio from when that happened. And you can hear them, and you can see it on the screen, right? They're saying, stop, 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 to both airplanes, right? There was absolutely a lapse in judgment in this. I will definitely say that. However, they did their job. They still did their job. This plane stopped. That plane stopped. They were both instructed to stop. They both did. So nothing actually happened. So I feel that this is probably one of those mountain out of a molehill things because nothing actually happened, right? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about here. I literally don't know what I'm talking about. This is just my opinion. At least some of the screens sounded diverse. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect to see that. Everybody in avi aviation knew this was coming. Okay. It isn't just Boeing's poor engineering that should frighten us. Thanks, Mayor Pete. DEI seems to be going well. You can almost hear the diversity in the control tower. How stunning, how brave. Stop! How about abort, abort, abort? Hold short. They were freaked out. This is the scariest part to me. Yeah, that was a little bit... Um, okay, so we're talking about DEI here. A lot of DEI comments with this. Um, there you go. It goes again. I don't know. I'm not saying anything about that. What I'm saying is I feel like everybody did their job and nothing actually happened, but you let me know in the comments below. And be sure to click one of these two videos just up above. Uh, YouTube thinks that you will love to watch more of the Outlier Live that we put on every single day. So be sure to click one of those and I'll see you on the next episode.